You're telling me they shot you with a revolver in your eye? Yes. Is it a BB gun? No, it was a real gun, man. It was just a revolver. They shot you in the eye. You wouldn't be talking to me right now. It was most likely you be dead. Little did the police officers realize that he was actually speaking the truth, uncovering the mind-boggling twist that would leave them astounded. A gunshot wound to the head had left him fighting for his life, with a brain bleed threatening to take him at any moment. What led to this situation and what happened next? You'll find in this video. Mm. Man. You know why you're down here, right? You have no idea why you're down here? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know what happened, okay? So I'm going to read you something to make sure you understand your rights, okay? Yeah. Okay. You know a girl named Heather? Mm-hmm. What is Heather's last name? Um, the one that lives there right now? I guess, I don't know. If her name's Heather, what's her last name? I don't know which name she's trying to use as her last one. She's trying to have a real last as her nickname, so I don't know. What nickname does she go by? She probably wants the last name, Kyman. Kyman? How old is Heather? 16 or 17. Is she a white girl? Yeah. How did you meet Heather? I've known her. Since school. I don't know. You just known her from school? She used to be a business name. She used to be in a class? Your business class? Mm-hmm. Right. What happened to your face? I don't know. You told the officer just a few minutes ago that someone hit you. Do you remember who hit you? I think it was Heather. Why would Heather hit you? It was an accident. I forgot why. What was an accident? Heather's last name? No. What was an accident? This guy's speech is all slurry. He can't seem to remember what's going on. And that wounded eye of his is flashing some serious warning signs of a brain injury. What happened last night? I don't know. You don't know? I really don't. I just want to go to sleep and go to sleep. Well, you remember Heather hitting you in the eye, right? I don't know what anybody was doing. I really don't. Who was in the house when you went to sleep? Christina and Heather. Christina and Heather? Mm hmm And Christina was on the couch? Heather was. Heather was on the couch. You told me Christina was on the couch just a minute ago. I don't know, man. I really don't. I really don't. You just don't know? I really don't, man. I just want to go and go to sleep, man. Well, man, you're not going to go anywhere. Do you know what happened in your house last night? Mm-mm. Is that house yours? Mm-hmm. Yours or your parents? Mine. Why, what happened? I don't know what happened. You're all beat up. So tell me what happened. I don't know. I just want to go to sleep, man. That's it. There's a dead girl in your living room. She's dead? Yes. Heather? I don't know. I want to know what happened in your house last night. The girl on the couch is dead? I don't know. If she's on the couch, she's dead. Well, these people came over, Richie and his dad, with shooting arrow blowing darts. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. They hit me and her with those. That's it. And Heather wasn't there. Eric wasn't there. It was just me and Heather it was there. You and Heather were there. And then what happened? And that's it. Richie and his dad tried to break in to the back. Richie and dad? His dad? Mm-hmm. Who's Richie? I don't know. Well, you obviously know him. You know his name by he Richie. He used to live there. Was he a roommate of yours? He used to be. They hit you? Yeah. Now it's Richie that hit you, not Heather? No, Richie and his dad. Richie and his dad? They hit you? Yes. Why? Because they were trying to get their stuff. I don't know why. And they had some kind of bow and arrows? Mm-hmm. They each had two revolvers and they didn't let off any shells. Okay, you just said they had bow and arrows. Now they have revolvers? That's what I meant. They had revolvers. They have revolvers. Yes. And then what happened? And then they shot us with those. 
They shot both of you? Yeah. Where'd they shoot you at? I got shot in the eye. You got shot in the eye? I think so. With a revolver? I think. I don't know, man. I don't know. Fuck. Then what happened? I don't know. You don't know a lot. Ryan, look at me. Ryan. Yes. I don't know, man. I really don't know. Why did you shoot Heather, Ryan? I didn't shoot Heather. She was already shot once by her brother, I swear. Richie. Yes. Richie shot his own sister. Yes, I swear. That's it. Sit down. Not me. And you've been shot in the eye. Yes. Put your feet off my table, please. My feet hurt, man. I don't know why. Get them off my table. Let me see your nose. Put your, put your, legs, put your legs down. Okay. Put your legs down. Bring, bring your face closer. Oh, my head hurts. Okay. Yeah, be, be right back. Finally, the detective starts to think about the possibility that Ryan might be in some kind of physical trouble. He steps out of the room to call for an ambulance and quickly comes back to gather more information about the shooting. He's acting, uh like he has a serious head injury, which would make sense. But you just confirm, Ryan. Yeah, we'll take him. I don't know why yeah, we can tell. You got all this. Has it been like that before, or just happened tonight? It's been like this for like a day or so. What, so it happened, what, the other night? I don't know. You don't know what happened. Were there guns around? Kid Eric did it. I don't know how he did it exactly. I might have been shot, I don't know. Are you waiting on the I don't know. Yeah, it really went right through, huh? Yeah, it might have, I don't know. <laughs> Ryan's journey began with a simple blood pressure check. Little did he know that this routine procedure would lead him to a deadly interrogation, lasting a grueling 56 minutes. Finally, he was rushed to the hospital, where doctors discovered that Ryan had been shot in the eye. As if this wasn't enough, the doctors also revealed to Ryan's father that his son had contracted an infection that could have been prevented with proper care. For Ryan, who ended up spending a harrowing 35 days in the hospital, during this time, he tragically lost part of his brain and his left eye, forever altering his life. But the nightmare didn't end there. Ryan was plagued by regular seizures from the moment he left the hospital, a cruel reminder of the pain and suffering he had endured. And then, in 2016, tragedy struck once again as one of these seizures claimed his life, robbing him of any chance at a future. The perpetrators of this heinous act, Richie and Larry, were sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole.